Charlie's. Another morning at the park. Um, Chance is right here, hanging out by Mama, and Max is just running around. He like got out of the car and sprinted out, and he just he's he's adorable. Um, he loves it because he loves to just run around. Chance is more of a stay close to mommy, and I don't trust him as much as I trust Max, just because he doesn't listen as well as Max. Max is a great listener, so watch. He's all the way over there. Max, Momo. Max, come here. Come on. That's a good boy. What a good boy. So, it's just a good way for them to run around and shake their sillies out, and it's not too hot yet. So, this is definitely becoming, I know I said this the past two days, my favorite routine. Like, I'm loving starting my day and ending my day here. I have my coffee in my girl's, like, a oh, fight like a girl cup, which is for breast cancer, but it also has boxing gloves. So yeah, we're gonna hang out here and then I'm gonna hit the gym. Workout done for an 800 and something calories. I think 824, 824, who knows. Uh, let me just tell you, this heat wave has got to go now. Today is apparently the last day and the heat index is supposed to reach 105. It's currently 93 as my car says, but um, should be a little bit of a difficult day going out east to shoot with Eddie. But I'm looking forward to it. Just about to leave the house, so I figured I'd do a quick little outfit of the day. It's really like super simple, but I figured I'd share it anyway. So I'm wearing a just some mascara and a very little bit of eyeliner. Um, I'm still like cooling down from the gym. A white t-shirt, and I wore just like a sports bra instead of a regular bra because I find I don't get as hot when I wear um, sports bras. I don't know if that makes any sense. And yeah, this t-shirt's from Loft, and then these are shorts that I got from Loft last year, and they come really long which I like because I hate my legs. They're my least favorite part of my body, so I try to hide them. But they are, hold on. They are mighty, mighty big on me. So I guess that's a non-scale victory. Um, and then we have Mr. Handsome. Hey. Wow, what are you wearing? I am wearing a chic black shirt with a V-neck. You look really good, you look really skinny. Thank you. Sorry. I'm wearing a black chic uh, material. I don't know what do you feel this. You tell me what it is. Oh, you know, I don't know what that material is. It's Old Navy, though, from Old Navy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's I don't know where it's from. I all my clothes. I'm an Old Navy man. Where are your shorts from? Are these Old ones Navy. Mom bought you for your birthday this year? Uh, no, I bought these myself at Old Navy. Oh, okay. And then just black sneakers. He looks so handsome Nikes, for our day. And Nike sneakers, because that's what cool people wear. So those people that are riding by right now are part of the wounded... Actually, maybe you don't have to be a wounded warrior only. I don't know. But this is part of the wounded warrior race, and it's... I thought it was only people who were injured in war well, that are participating. Broke the but okay, that's really not even funny, but whatever. It's like um yeah, so there's a bunch of people racing and we're stuck in traffic in town, but you know what? It's for a good cause. And now you guys get to see it. Woo! Alright, so we just stopped at a gas station to fill up my tank. How how much did it do by the way? The tank the gas. Uh, we got three quarters of a tank. Yeah, I figured 30 wasn't enough. So I'll get more later. And then I stopped inside to get us waters, and I found this for Eddie. Show him what it is. It's bacon, it's bacon jerky. jerky. And he's a bacon boy. Let's see. Every boy is a bacon boy. That's not true. Not every, every boy. Every man is a bacon not boy. That's not true either. There's vegetarian men. And what's the verdict? Like bacon jerky. So we've made it to West Hampton. Yep. We're gonna go down to the beach and make some shoots and take some shots. What? We're gonna we're gonna sh shoot. We're gonna go to the beach each. Let's go get away. He hates it. He hates it so much. That's why I did it. So this is every time I go to turn the freaking camera on, it takes so long that all you see is shrubbery. But this is the famous Dune Road in West Hampton. And you can see why. They shoot tons of movies down here. Uh, lots of celebrities live on this road. I would, I mean, I've been out here several times in my career of living. 
Your career of living. My career of living. When did you get hired? Uh, 1986. I think you should ask for a raise because you've been working a long time. <laughs> um, but I've never seen a celebrity. I've never seen a celebrity. Maybe today's the day. Maybe oh, they'll hold up a bottle a of Delta Labs celebrity gardener. products and I'll be amazing. So, yeah. I don't know. We're just trying to... Eddie's taking us to the beach somehow. I don't know if he knows where he's going. Bro, we're going to get there. This is Eddie's favorite place. It's not my favorite place. I have gone there. Before. Eddie loves it here. Don't even deny it. Right, Can you get lunch here? Can you get lunch? I don't believe so. So this is Neptune and it's a beach club. And they have house music, DJs all the time. Every Saturday. And Sundays. Right. So now we are on the beach. Um, we're not supposed to be here apparently because we don't have a permit, but we snuck on and we're just getting some shots. And this is our view. We didn't even go all the way down to the water because I was silly and left my flippy floppies in the car and the sand is so hot it burnt my feet. Not even kidding, my feet are burnt. Um, so Eddie's just setting up the products over there because he wants to do some shots and I already did mine. So yeah, and then after this we're going to venture over to find hopefully a farm stand. This is the Flanders Duck. I don't know why that this is a Long Island landmark, but it is. And Eddie and I were just talking about if we saw it, we were going to stop, and we just stopped so we could show you guys. I will explain to you why it's a Long Island oh, landmark. Okay. It's a giant freaking duck. No, Look that's at not it. why it's a landmark. No, I am here inside the Flanders Duck, which Carlin just showed you guys. And to take a little look around, there is a whole bunch of duck memorabilia and I guess uh, artifacts, to say the least. So. Uh, I'm here with a friend of mine. Um, she chooses not to be on camera, which is totally respectable. So we will talk about what this duck is, where it came from, why it's here. And so, let's hear it. The duck was built 82 years ago by a duck farmer. He wanted to attract customers to his duck farm. The uh -huh. idea being like Field of Dreams. If I build it, they will come. Ah. And they did. They were, the competition was fierce. There used to be almost 100 duck farms out here. Really? So he's the only one that got the, like a wild hair day, you know, a light bulb went off and he decided I'll build, I'll build a cement duck and people will come to my duck farm. And they That's did. A, and they did. It wow. worked, worked for decades. And um, in the long run, of course, the duck farms all went out of business or moved elsewhere. Right. But this remains, fortunately, the building remains. So many of these kooky architectural delights our, our yeah, I'm just gonna see what yeah, we got oh, yes, here. This is, this our is um, bulletin board. So we have the duck. Yeah. We have Randy's Donuts, which is out in California oh, or yes, Nevada, I yes, believe. Yes, in California. Where is um, this giant reptar or Godzilla? Oh no, that's in California. It's it was featured in Pee Wee Herman. Like what was that? Oh okay. Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> now Very I passed funny. a place in Southampton not too long ago that had. Um, all these giant dinosaurs. Oh, that's still there along the is, Sunrise Highway. Yeah, is that, well, do you know what that place is? Was it like made for movies or? Oh, I don't even know. I, it, it's just always been there. They sell, you know, um, they, they sell big, you know. And props and things of that nature. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much for oh, the for tour. Sakes. And uh, <laughs> And yeah, and so you guys enjoy this giant duck. Here's the duck tail. Here's the duck tail. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on to this yes, and maybe read it to you guys later. Oh, excellent. We just left this place. It's called Beyond Philly. And it was a Philly cheesesteak place. We passed it on our way out and we both said that like, you know, we kind of really want to go back there. So we, on the way home, we decided to go. And uh, the cheesesteaks from someone like me who used to live in Philly, because I went to school there for a year and a half, uh, definitely tastes like Philly cheesesteaks, the good ones. Eddie, what do you think? I was, I was trying to think of like a really fancy word to say about it, but no, it was, I was very impressed. It was very good. We both I, got the classic. I scalded my mouth and I wasn't even upset about it. Yeah, I ate half of mine and took it home. And then we got these, um, truffles. I don't know, they're ice cream truffles. So I got cookies and cream and he got amaretto. Oh, just because it's hot. It's so hot. And of course, of course, the place we decided to go for lunch didn't have air conditioning. That's a big fan. Nah, it was alright, you know, because we sat in front of it. Finally, our home and back in the central air, even though it doesn't even feel like central air because it's just that hot. I'm, like, look at my hair. 
It was all sticking to the side of my neck. Um, but I got two things from my P.O. box, so I'm gonna open them with you guys. Okay, here's the first thing. Oh, girl, it is Pinot Grigio. This is what it looks like, and they sent me a full bottle for review, which is pretty sweet. Didn't even know I was getting this, so pumped for that. This is the other thing that got sent to me, and I am so excited. It's called the Citrus Zinger, and basically you put fresh fruit down here, you twist it, and it infuses right into your water. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to review this product. And it's pink, obviously, because pink's my favorite color. <laughs> Look at how awesome this is, guys. It's working. You can see the little lemon peelies. I'm really excited about this. So look, and then you dump it over, and oh man, this may be my new favorite product, because I love flavored water. So we just had to run to the bank really quick because I had a check to deposit, and now we popped into PetSmart because Max is running low on food, and we both said it at the same time. It was really funny. So I'm shopping in the clearance section because I want to get the boys a new toy and they deserve it because they're good little men. So, oh, we have this already. Oh no, this is like the one we have. Chance destroys them anyway. Yeah? Um, I'm being summoned. Let's go find Eddie. What's up? Where are you? Oh, there's more toys right here for me to look at. Huh? Oh, all right. Should we get a fridge? I mean, uh... yeah, let's get a fridge. You got those here? Yeah, but Maybe I was. Maybe a washer dryer. All right, hold on. All right, we're gonna get toys. We did a little splurge while we were in PetSmart for the boys. We each bought them two toys because we just spoil them. We love to spoil them. So we got two. I bought these two. They are squeezy toys, but they have no fur on the inside. And Chance loves to rip toys apart because he loves to get to he loves this to thing. Rip them apart. He does. So we got a fox and a bear, and then Eddie got these because I love them, and they were so cute. A little octopus guy, which they'll love to rip apart, and then we got a lobster. Lobster cool. Hello, everybody, I'm a lobster. Whoopsie, sometimes I get weird. Now we're going to Five Below because we love that store. And Eddie's gonna- We love that store, we really haven't bought anything from there. I we bought two sick shirts. Yeah, I didn't. Eddie's looking for a basketball and a shirt, so fingers crossed we get both. I feel like I should get another one of these to do as part of the thousand subscriber giveaway because I have to start picking out prizes for that since we are at a thousand twenty now. Did you know that we're at a thousand twenty subscribers? Oh wow, that's good. We're that's growing. a lot of subscribers. So Eddie's looking for um, shirts, but I don't know what he's gonna get. How about this one? I think you should get. What does it say? This is not a drill. It's <laughs> a hammer. Yeah. It's literal. No, I think you should get peas for poops. Just kidding, I would hate it if you weren't. Or I should get this beast mode. Let me know which one you guys want in the down bar below in the comment section. Okay, I'm gonna give the boys their new toys from me. I look so ratchet. Stop saying. I know, I can't stop saying that word today. I don't know why. Max sees it. Chance isn't even like near me. He doesn't even care that there's a toy. <gasps> ow, ow, they're scratching my legs. They just discovered that I have toys in my hands. Okay, ready? <gasps> oh, wait, 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 Matt, Momo. Oh, Momo always steals Chansey's toys. Okay, so, Car, when did Five Below open? Uh, it was the third or fourth week in June. Okay, so it's been open for a little they, over a month. They came with us. Now, the, yeah, okay, great. The first time we went there, they had these shirts that I fell in love with because they were, well, actually, oh, as he goes ahead and knows away at his toy. <laughs> they had a shirt that had a wiener dog on a hot dog bun with a guy holding it. And they didn't have any that were in my size. They only had smalls and mediums. And I was so depressed. And I was like, when you guys get an XL in, call me. And but they, they said, did, okay. Didn't they have a large and we just didn't get it or no? No. Okay. They only had mediums and smalls. Okay. So today, on a whim, I was like, you know what? Can we go to Five Below? And I didn't expect that they would have the shirt. I just wanted to maybe see if there was something that I'd like and pick up anyway. But they did, in fact, have the shirt. And Carlin, if you'll be good enough to take this camera, look at yourself and look at me. He wants to show you himself. He's so happy about this. He hugged the lady in the store. Hugged I, her. I hugged her good. Look at how cute it is. 
it's kind of creepy because there's a hand holding Chance in a hot dog bun, but... He's going to eat him. <laughs> He's so excited. Arr. At the dog park, and this is Daddy's first time with us here. And he's running around with them. Oh, ow, that hit me in the face. Oh, man. Go ahead, run with oh. Daddy. Oh, he sees the bag. So we're just running. Well, they're running. I ran before. And then this guy's hanging out here, and we brought, we brought our new fox. I'm calling this Mr. Trotty. Oh, here they come, come on! This is just like the perfect little, oh, wow! This okay. is just the perfect little space for us to run around and have fun after sitting in the apartment all day. And it's so windy. I've got the chance to sit down and be lazy. He runs a little bit. He's heavier though. He's still trying to lose weight. So we just run around and shake our sillies out. We love it here. Eddie was getting his workout on and Max was watching. Look, he's getting his tricep dips. I told him he should have brought the TRX to work out while we were down here because his bike isn't going to be ready until tomorrow. What else can you do on there? Oh no. Here you go. You guys are always saying you never see us work out or you want to see my workouts. I can't show you mine in the classes, but there you go. You get, you get Eddie. That, that's the extent of Eddie's workout. That's it for today. That's it for today. We're at our final location of the day and it actually happens to be uh, right in town. So these two are with us still and they are disturbing the peace because they love the swans. They're killing me. They're like making me crazy actually. Eddie's shooting the final shots. But this is our, our view. Whoa. So, we're getting some good shots. Eddie's getting some good shots. He took over completely. He didn't want to let me do it. Check out that sweet form. He's a professional, guys. Don't be jealous. Don't be hating. This is happening. He really wants to get a swan in the background of the hair, skin, and nails, which is what I think is a good idea, too. Did you get it? And this one is just going crazy. Making him, oh shit, a dog, a dog. Back home and just took a very quick body shower. For those of you that really needed to know that, I don't know why I felt that you needed to know that. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because uh, I'm going to try and edit and upload. I'm gonna try and edit and upload my watching you chug. Um, while we watch Game of Thrones because we're gonna get back into watching that since Eddie's home this weekend. We can watch all three nights and probably get through a lot of... Um, oh, you showed them that already. Yeah, I showed them this morning. Uh, we'll probably finish season two and start season three this weekend. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this very adventurous all over the place vlog. Yeah, bye. Tomorrow, we're actually going ring shopping and then we are going to our wedding hall to finalize the menu, pick out the wedding cake, pick out the linens, all that stuff. Not sure if I'll be able to vlog there. It might be a little awkward, but we'll see how the day goes. Before I go, I just wanna see, is this normal? I have a full seltzer, a full lemon water, and I just filled my Starbucks cup because I don't plan on moving from the couch for a while and I feel extremely dehydrated, like I've been saying, and I know I'm gonna be editing and then watching Game of Thrones, but does anybody else load up on their drinks so they don't have to move? Let me know.